Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I'm trying to find a spot in the house with the least amount of sunshine. I don't like bright days. I just don't. Normally I do peanut gallery mail on Fridays, but on Friday I had only one package and someone said they were sending something that I should get on Saturday. So I decided to wait and we're doing a mailbag Monday instead. A reminder that I will be gone the 27th of April through the 2nd of May, so I won't be doing any mail opening that weekend. If anything happens to come while I'm gone, I will just open it the following weekend. We have only two packages, and this one is from Edith from Portland, Oregon, and it looks like a this. So let's just dig into it. <sighs> oh. <laughs> we have a note. It says, Darlene, thanks a lot. Hi Darlene, this is a thank you for all the enjoyable videos. I so enjoy watching them. You make my day, Edith. Thank you so much, Edith for saying that. I appreciate it very much. Let's start with the buttons. Oh my. They came in a baggie like this. I'm going to open this up because there's... Uh, 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 uh. Um, look at how beautiful these are. Ten buttons like that. Oh my goodness. Those are so nice. I'm trying to see without opening them. Okay, they're the kind with the little, you know, round thing in the back. It says, great for all of your sewing and crafting projects. I will find good use for these buttons. And then these guys are, they're like button rocks with dots. <laughs> I mean, they're glass buttons. I'm trying to think, I mean, that wouldn't be handmade. I mean, it's glass, it's not polymer clay. But they're so cool. And then there's some little red ones like that. It's like playing with marbles and buttons at the same time. How awesome. <gasps> Ooh, look at these got Stay, stay. Obviously my table is not level. Look at these. So pretty. And these. Oh my. Now I dropped one. I mean, I really think these were marbles, but there's a hole now for a button. Well, those are very awesome. Thank you so much, Edith. And now we have something so fabulous. <gasps> Tie-dye t-shirt. I just love it so much. I'm going to be anxious to come up with a way to use this. T-shirts are on my wish list. Okay. Thank you so much, Edith. I do appreciate it very much. And the buttons, too. Next, we have something fragile. And it is from Lauren in Oregon, also. Oregon. And Oregon, of all the states that we have, I get two from Oregon. And this one looks like this. It's a box. So let's dig into this baby. Ew. We have a, quite a note. I found the cardstock at a craft warehouse, so I'm guessing there's some cardstock in there. I thought it would be perfect for beads. <laughs> I thought like a moth or something landed on my table, but a piece of tape just flew out of nowhere. Okay, uh, the hand, the headbands are for Skylar. How sweet. The bubble gum is for maybe a challenge video. You and Skylar could do when you visit her. I am a teacher at a daycare and I love to spoil awesome kids. I'm a huge fan. Love your videos. I hope the pieces of clothing sent are okay. And it's... And it's okay with me if you dislike something you make. <laughs> I will still be an entertained viewer. Well, thank you. The pressure is off. 
P.S. It's pronounced Oregon. It's pronounced Oregon. Oregon. She goes, P.S. It's pronounced O-R-E dash G-E-N. So I don't know if she's trying to tell me it's Oregon or Oregon. No, not Oregon. Nobody would ever say Oregon. <laughs> what did I say? Oregon? You're awesome. I bet you don't think so anymore. I called it Oregon. I even called it Oregon. <laughs> Lauren. Pronounced the Lauren. <laughs> it's because everybody knows I have such a hard time. And I even can't even pronounce the phonetic spelling you give me. Oh my god. My sides actually hurt. The sides buried under the fat. <laughs> they, they hurt from laughing. Oh my god, that is just so funny, Lauren. Pronounce Lauren. And <laughs> she's melted. <laughs> oh, I needed this laugh big time. Oh my goodness. I'm very anxious now when I edit to see how I pronounced Oregon. Oregon. I think I always say Oregon. I don't know. I don't know what I say. I know how to pronounce Maine. That's good. Okay, let's see what we have. A variety. Looky. Oh, denim shorts. Really like these. And they have fancy pockets. That's going to come in quite handy. And they're a big size. I don't know how big, but they're big. And they are 24 waist. So that gives me a chance to make something that fits a bigger girl. Well, that's going to be pretty cool. We have what looks like a scarf in a pretty pink with almost looks like little watercolor flowers. And it has a slight stretch to it. Very cool. We have a t-shirt in a pretty green. Do like that. That's unusual. It's a t-shirt that has a seam down the back. I don't know if I've ever seen that. It's a Sonoma Lifestyles XXL. It has a high-low hem, it appears. Next we have, th the stuff smells so fresh in this box. First I thought this was a skirt, but it's a little shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to want to take the pattern of this so I can duplicate it with other fabrics. Okay, that's pretty awesome. And then we have, ooh. These are the headbands. Skylar loves headbands. Look at this. You know, I mean, this is, this is knitted. I want to know how to make this. Look. Do love. And then this is a headband, ooh, which could also be a choker. It would need to be taken in a little bit, but I love chokers. Remember when you wore a choker to hide a hickey? I remember that. I don't even know how to wear a headband. I mean, what would I do with this? This? <laughs> I should go out like this. And you guys should force me to. That would be kind of funny. I really, I don't really know how to wear headbands. I mean, I would assume it would go under my hair in the back. <laughs> I will let Skylar figure it out. I need to watch a video, how to wear a headband. <laughs> okay, now let's look at the gum. Funny thing about challenges involving food like this is I have an irrational fear of choking. That is why Skylar and I never did Chubby Bunny or whatever that was called, where you filled your mouth with marshmallows. Gag city. I would, I would just be so afraid that not only I would choke, but I'd be more afraid that she would choke. And big round gum like this, you should see, she like loves the gumball machines. And I'm always like, you can't have something big and round. 
but I'm sure we can come up with something even if I smash the gumballs first. Maybe we can do that. How to smash gumballs if you have an irrational fear of choking. <laughs> What's this? Fizzlers fizzing bubble gum. And the other thing is I'm not doing any sugar. I haven't had sugar in five over five months. So again, not something up my alley, but I'm still going to bring them and maybe we can get Skylar and her dad to do something. I don't think so. And these are smoothie mix gumballs. At least they're little, not as much of a choking hazard. <laughs> I don't know why I worry about choking. I've never had, well, I did almost choke once, but as an adult, I mean, it's not like I have a fear of choking because I went through some horrible experience choking. But thank you so much, Edith. Oh, we still have paper to look at. Now, what did she say about the paper? She found it at a craft warehouse. This is very cool. It's all different kinds of paper, and there's prints, there's designs. Oh, look at the wood pattern. Lots of them. And just more and more and more and more and more and more. Thank you so much, Lauren. Pronounced Lauren from Oregon. Pronounced Oregon. <laughs> I had fun. This was fun. So, again... Thank you so much to everyone who has sent clothes. I probably will not be doing an upcycled fashion before my trip because it's a little involved, but I certainly will be back to it as soon as I get back. I may knock one out if I find something simple I feel like doing. My address is down below if you feel like sending anything, and I do have a little wish list of just to give you an idea of the things I'm always looking for, like t-shirts or anything denim, flannel shirts, things like that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can have holes, rips, tears, stains. As long as the majority of the fabric of the garment is usable, I'm good with that. So that's it. I just want to thank everyone, and thank you, Edith and Lauren, and I will be back with more soon. Bye! I'm trying a new end screen. I am pushing videos down your throat. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I would absolutely love that. And watch another video if you feel like it. Thanks.